When social distancing mandates were put in place, the internet became a source of connection for virtually everyone. Brick and mortar stores were forced to shift the way they did business or face shutting their doors completely. And as opportunities to network, shop, and do business face-to-face -face decreased, more and more people began going online. Buying habits were already shifting prior to the pandemic, but the shutdown sped things along. And now more than ever, people are turning to social media as their go-to source, not only for entertainment and socializing, but also for shopping, education, news, support, and finding solutions to the problems and pain points they want solved. As an entrepreneur, it has never been more important to stand up and stand out on social media. Your potential customers, clients, and teammates are already online searching for solutions that your products, services, and business can provide. The question is, in their search, are they finding you or your competitors? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick review of your social media presence to make sure you're standing out as the solution your ideal clients and customers are looking for so you can create a profitable personal brand serve more people and create a larger impact in today's post-pandemic world. Hey there, I'm Jordan Maley, co-founder of the Global Freedom Community alongside my mom and business partner, Kathy Schneider. Together, we help ambitious entrepreneurs start, grow, and automate their online business so you can create revenue on autopilot while living the lifestyle of your dreams. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We put out great new content just like this on this channel every single week, and I don't want you to miss the next free training that we release. When it comes to doing business in a post-pandemic world, just how important is social media? Well, 54% of browsers use social media to research products, look for reviews, and find recommendations and 71% of people who have had a positive experience with a brand on social media are likely to recommend that brand's products and services to a friend or family member. 60% of Instagram users report finding new products on the platform, and 82% of shoppers look for insights on at least one social media platform before making a purchase. And these stats aren't going anywhere but up. Social commerce sales are expected to be on the rise again this year by over 34%. So in other words, if you're not focused on building a profitable personal brand for your business, it's time to step up to the plate. And I'm here to help you today by walking you through a quick review of your social media presence so you can identify where you stand to improve. In fact, I invite you to open up your phone and follow along with me right now as we review your accounts together. So let's dive in. First things first, take a look at your profiles on each social media platform and make sure they are up to date. I know this sounds like a no-brainer, but it's amazing how many people we talk to who have dormant Instagram accounts or a Facebook business page that they aren't using anymore. If you are no longer using an account, that's totally fine, but you need to delete it. Social media profiles are some of the first things that show up in search results if a potential customer or client searches your name on Google. And you don't want them seeing something that you haven't touched since 2014. If your plan is to begin using that account again, be sure to log in, update all the important info like your profile photo, your bio, any important links, so that if someone does happen to find it, they can connect with you. Next, take a look at your brand voice. When reviewing your social media platforms, it needs to be clear. Who do you help and how do you help them? If your ideal client were to stumble upon your Facebook profile or Instagram profile or TikTok account right this second, would they recognize you as a potential resource for the solutions that they're looking for? When clicking on your profile, the first thing a potential client or customer will notice is your profile picture and your bio. Your profile photo needs to be the same on all platforms, and your bio needs to clearly state who your product, service, or business is for and the solution they provide. If you wanna dive deeper into identifying your ideal client and customer and getting super clear on who your business helps and how it helps them, check out this video. Once you're clear on your voice, it's time to look at your actual content. If someone were to skim your last five posts, do they back up what you say in your bio? Your bio states who you help and how you help them. Your content proves it. If your bio states that you help new moms lose the baby weight, 
with simple 15 minute workouts they can do from home, but your last five posts are nothing but funny cat videos or political rants, your potential customer or client is not gonna stick around very long. So make sure your posts properly support your brand by sharing value with your audience and making it clear what you sell. We did an entire video on the seven types of social media posts you need to be using to get more leads, sales, and signups, which you can watch right here. On platforms like Instagram and Facebook, your content goes beyond just your posts. The right Facebook and Instagram story strategy will give you a competitive edge in creating know, like, and trust with your audience, communicating value with them, and when it comes to actually selling. Stories are where you get to let your followers take a peek behind the curtain and meet the human behind the brand. They're also incredible for creating conversation with your audience by adding questions and polls. You can use stickers and even add music to showcase your personality and help you stand out. So let's evaluate your story strategy. First, are you using stories consistently? If not, it's time to start. Next, what are you posting to your stories? Is it all me, me, me? Or are you using stories to connect and communicate with your audience, share value, and start conversations? Stories are a great place to showcase your products by sharing testimonials, highlighting features, inviting followers to DM you for more information, and directing them to other resources like your free value Facebook group or even your website where they can get additional value or make a purchase. You should be posting at least three stories a day consistently and five to 10 a day is even better. Okay, one last thing to review. When someone finds you on social media, what happens next? Yes, it's great to get likes, comments, and followers, but if your goal on social media is to boost your lead sales and signups, you need to have a profitable selling strategy in place. We use freebie funnels to drive followers to our email list by offering them a valuable free resource in exchange for their name and email. We love social media for finding and connecting with our ideal clients and customers, but even in today's post-pandemic world, 95% of our sales come from our email list. Once someone is on our email list, we use our micro offer and webinar funnels to share additional value with them and close sales on autopilot. Systems and automation are what allow us to consistently increase our income and our impact while simultaneously creating more time and financial freedom from our business. So my question to you is once someone finds you on social media, do you have the systems in place to funnel them to your products, services, and business or are you simply relying on social media posts and the ever-changing algorithm to get sales? If you don't have the systems in place yet, I have to ask, what's holding you back? Is it a lack of knowledge or clarity? Or maybe you're just wondering, do I even need such a system? If that's something you're asking, then I invite you to join us for our free 60-minute training where we share our complete five-phase profit system so you can see for yourself how to create consistent, repeatable revenue in your business on autopilot and create a true freedom-focused business that brings in leads and sales 24-7. Inside this free training, we also share our secret weapon for getting paid while you build your audience on social media without complicated launches or time-consuming Zoom calls so you can start turning a profit quickly even if you're starting from scratch. You can check it out now at globalfreedomcommunity.com forward slash free training. Okay, that's all I got for today. I have asked YouTube to recommend the best next video for you, which you can watch right here. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go so you'll get notified the next time we release a new video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.